Let's play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, Malkavian Edition. Brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Yeah, really? it's definitely she special. Like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to make a deposit. <laughs> oh. Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Say goodbye to yellow teeth and spots in your dirty dishes. Oh, yeah? It's incredible. Look at that shine. Your smile or these dinner plates? <laughs> Harnessing uh, the secrets of ancient Egypt. Now there's a dishwashing detergent so powerful, secrets it doesn't of just leave your dishes Egypt? spotless. It actually whitens your teeth. Patented hey, it's like alien whitening. Down food and grease and remain on the plate to be absorbed into your food to clean your teeth while you eat. Ugh. Dazitron, the dishwashing detergent of the future for cleaner plates and whiter teeth. That's disgusting. Candidate Michael Redmond spots sports utility vehicle. Oh. Later, there are two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is oh. Candidate Michael Redmond's to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? No. Can your children? No. Well, Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate yes. has never committed vehicular homicide. Robert Thorne. Michael Rubens has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. What? Is it because he's hiding something? Maybe. Do you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? No. Would you trust your children's future to someone like that? Nope. Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne. Yay, Thorne! Woohoo! Child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Thorne <gasps> for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. Ooh. Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Would you just make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? No. Would you want your children to become hypocrites? No. Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. In the world <laughs> where people live <gasps> and die. Ooh. Do you think you can just go in there and handle this by yourself? If that's what it takes. Yeah. Was about to meet his greatest foe. Kill them all! All yeah! of them! And a girl. Hello. Hi. And a Hello. comic relief sidekick who won't make it to Act 3. I picked the wrong month to cancel my life insurance. <laughs> no, don't say that. You're gonna make it. With a guy from that other movie that was slightly popular. And oh. what's her name? From that show you sometimes watch. In uh -huh. a movie with two spectacular CGI battle sequences and an advertising campaign that will leave you no choice but to see this film. Awesome. See it. Because it's a movie, and all your friends are going. In theaters Friday, and on DVD in three months. I gotta see Hello, that LA. right now. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something com- Alright. It's repeating now. Yeah, I gotta see that movie. When was it on? Shit, I'm a vampire. I can't go see a movie. Damn it! Can I unlock this? Nope. Nope. Looks like I failed. Ah well, maybe later. How about this? Well that's already unlocked. What's this? Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police are baffled. Hmm. What do we have in here? Pillows, computer, little TV thing. Hmm. Anything useful in here at all? Nothing? What a worthless apartment. No wonder it's unlocked. I can't steal anything from here. Damn! Oh well. I guess we'll have to leave. Everyone's got pizza. Even vampires these days. I guess this is my mailbox. Looks like it says Nivbeck. Something like that. More Keegan. Murrieta. Right. You, you got you got some change, Mister. Hmm. I am the fattest piggy bank in the world, but I will not break for you, hobo. Asshole. <laughs> I will, however, feed on you. Thanks for the juice. There. You sit there.
Alright. How's it going, world? I'm looking cool. Got the whole, uh, I'm big and strong walk going on. What the hell is up with that guy? Ah, hello there, kind oh, sir. What is that on my loafer? Um, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> what time is it? Way past your bedtime. What strings pull you, stranger? Nothing, no, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. What was that voice in my head? Something about putting poison on his lips? Hmm. I seem to have lost the gold in my pot. Can you help me refill it? Oh, I completely understand. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. I wouldn't be surprised if in this neighborhood you were pickpocketed. Anyhow, good evening, and uh, do be careful. Yes, what yes. Is that on my loafer? Uh, Do you happen <clears throat> to have any more money? Hmm, what time is it? Perhaps we might make a sweet street side rendezvous. I'm happily married to my work. Oh. And I have a wife, too. I see. I uh, seem to have lost more gold in my pot. Can you help me refill it? I'm afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Damn. Luck is a limpid leper. Farewell. Hmm. You look different. Need something, pal? Hmm. Have you seen the Golden Hunter? Oh, man, wait. Say that again. Mm, that wasn't me. It was one of the other voices in my head. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? Death's shadow will fall on you if you look deeper into his eyes. No, no, I won't be mean to you. How did you see my bloody little secret? Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh man, this is great! And then I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man! Let's go into the alley over there and uh, have a bite to eat, eh? Do you happen to be a child of the night also? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind! So, um, what's with the little vampire patch on your, uh, lapel there? Shouldn't you maybe kind of be inconspicuous? <sighs> Whatever. Ghoulish is as ghoulish... Wait, what is a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me... Whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Really? He look quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. Interesting. What, uh, creature spawns you, golden ghoul? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. Hmm. But it's really cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man! Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Yes, what's up, Knox? Are you a happy little golden ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Nasty dude, eh? What makes your life move today? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission. So man. much for being secret. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> I have vacated the building. Goodbye, Knox. 
Hmm. Well, hey, this is 24. Could it be that that was Mercury? And now we are entering Elysium for the first time. Ah, blood, 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 blood. Blood. Number four. Sounds like Mercury. 